Oh shit. Got a DoorDash bathroom cam. <sighs> so, this job kinda sucks in the sense of they're not really offering us much. Like, this morning, uh, it's the 14th of March. My birthday is in like what? Two weeks. Yeah, they offered us anything. This morning they offered us an extra two fifty until eight a.m. I forget what time it is. Let me look. It is eight twenty-eight. So the the extra has worn off. Like none of the stuff that they offer us after the extra money is worn off has been worth it. Like I've been sitting here thinking to myself, oh. Because I thought to myself, I paid for my car wash with an order this morning because they gave me, I was on my way back from the car wash and I was just about to come home. And then they offered me $15 to go somewhere. And I'm like, all right, because it was actually worth it. And that's the only order this morning that's been worth it. Like they have like this stupid way of doing the whole peak pay. It's called peak pay. Why don't you use it when it's a prime time? When everybody's out there trying to make money and everybody's failing because the cost of gas is absolutely absurd right now. Like, they offered $6 while everybody was asleep or off work or not dashing. It's like, why would you do that? You offer six extra dollars from 9 p.m. till some random time. And it's like, Nobody's outside for that. Most stuff's not even open. Like, all the good places that give you the best orders, they're closed. PetSmart being a prime example. You don't stay open that late. Oh, and then they've been offering top-tier money to go to banned areas. It's banned because it's completely going to destroy my car, so you'd rather offer me a one-time $20, $25 to go get my car destroyed, and then I won't be able to deliver for anyone until my shit's fixed. Oh, and there you hear it. You cannot mute DoorDash unless your phone's audio is completely off. And since that was a McDonald's order, I ain't gonna look. Because I know it's not worth it. McDonald's here is never worth it. McDonald's here doesn't stack. Let me repeat myself. McDonald's here is never worth it. McDonald's here doesn't stack. Unless you got an order that's going 1.6 miles for $25. It's the only way it's genuinely going to be worth it at this point. Because it's just like you have to put in all this extra effort. Like yesterday, I took a McDonald's. It was six something. It was for 1.6 miles. And then I got stuck on the other side of the train tracks. And the train came. So I sat there for a good 10 minutes for no fucking reason. And their house was literally down the street. Yeah. So I, got, I made a wrong turn. I went across the train tracks. And then I was like, coming back, the train decided to show up and there was a bunch of traffic preventing me from just zerging forward and getting by that shit. So it wasn't worth it. So I don't no longer take sixes. And I took an apartment building. It wasn't a high rise or anything, but it was still irritating enough where it forced me to learn a second GPS. That's the third thing. I would tell you guys, learn your GPSs early. Yes, there is a very easy one. Apple Maps, if you have an uh, iPhone that makes this shit somewhat mindless. Google Maps, if you learn that one first, you're learning the more difficult one first. Because Google Maps, the, the, the actual total mileage is smaller and are more obscure off the screen. It does not show traffic lights. It does not show stop signs. Uh, but it basically, it tracks you a little more accurately. So when you need to make a turn, you can make the turn in real time. Apple Maps tracks you a little less accurately has the total mileage big er on the bottom of the screen has your eta big er on the bottom of the screen it has all the stuff that you need where you can actually say you can confirm to yourself is this worth it or is it not worth it this is going to be mandatory with the current cost of gas so learn your gps's now if you already if you've learned apple maps and you don't feel like you want to go use the more difficult one you don't have to I'm just saying learn it. What happens if Apple Maps breaks or Apple Maps is doing an update while you need to actually see what's going on? Then you have to switch GPS. So I've decided I learned both. I learned Google. I started with Google. 
And that was my default map until I learned that you can actually put, like, if you use Apple Map, you just have to add your contact information into your card. Like, whatever your name is, you have to add your address, your work address, blah, 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 blah. I don't like it because it allows people to track me. But then again, I'm not going to allow anybody to see that shit but me. But yeah, basically, they're fucking up the peak pay. Like, it should be, like, they should just have that shit on constantly until gas prices go down. They should be offering us an extra five, six dollars. Why? Because we are dessert. We are owed this fucking money for some of the shitty ass orders they drop on us. And anybody that's a top dasher. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Top, I wonder how many top dashers there are right now. I would love a poll to see who's top dasher right now. I would love that shit. Because I don't care how fuel efficient your car is. I bet you it's still now. I bet you it's even more. It's less worth it now than it was back in, a year ago to top dash. Like if you're top dashing right now, you've got to be rich. you got to be a whale. <laughs> well, you're just basically you're just trying to be nice to the old folks and you got a lot of money. And you just won't hope that you, you hope that all your uh, deliveries are old people that are, they can't do for themselves. So you're basically uh, a walking Santa Claus. Otherwise, it's like, bruh, really? You see, man, I have to go gas up again. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is actually hurting. I'm going to actually have to figure something out. I may have to have to drive the... I may actually have to clean out the Accord and drive that shit. Because my car is clean and I can get big orders in mine. But the Accord just saves you more fucking... She's been filling up for $25 and even half a tank. And I'm like, bro, I got to spend at least 30 to get a half a tank. And then the half a tank is gone by the time that my day is done. Her half a tank lasts a good day or two. But then again, she doesn't drive for a living. So, <sighs> but yeah, I'm about to get out of the bathroom. I'm probably paused because you know DoorDash. Even you don't take a couple orders and they pause you. So, I don't want to get kicked. We out. <laughs>